Hi, this is Kaylee Johnston, and you're watching Ambi. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I really enjoyed that little shopping spree that we just went on. That was pretty fun. It was. I'd like to do more interviews like that <laughs> <laughs> that involved around shopping. <laughs> Let's just start off with the basics since we were just looking at hundreds of records. Who are some of the bands that you absolutely adore? Like, who are some of your go to artists? Uh, a lot of female rock groups from the 70s and the 80s. So Fleetwood Mac. I know that's they're not all females, but I just love Stevie Nicks. And I find her so inspiring. Um, and I love heart. Like, love heart. <laughs> <laughs> and we had just done some shopping, as we mentioned. So mm -hmm. I was wondering if you could just tell me a little bit about some of the goodies that you bought. OK. So first thing I bought was the Pink Floyd, The Wall. I have been meaning to sit down in a dark candlelit room and listen to this <laughs> beginning to end. Um, like I've been meaning to do it for years. And so actually, now that the single's out and the album's coming out soon, I was like, okay, I am going to dive deeper into my music and really do some serious listening. Cause I feel like we listen to music in the background all the time. Yeah. So that's why I bought this. And do you want me to keep showing you? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, Next one. This is my favorite. I brought I bought a Jon Snow t-shirt. <laughs> uh, Game of Thrones, is, it's in a week, right? The I premiere. Think so, the premiere. Yeah, so I'll be wearing this then. <laughs> With the uh, Jon Snow inspired jacket. While we were shopping, you should oh, mention. Oh, yeah. Jon Snow pretty inspired jacket. Jon Snow inspired jacket, yep. <laughs> and then I brought some candy, because I <laughs> love candy. <laughs> Well, I know today it's an exciting day for you because you actually dropped a new single, yes. Getting Over You. Yeah. Must discuss this. Just tell me a little bit about this awesome pop track. Okay, so like, like you mean like who it's about? I think? <laughs> if you want to, if you want to get that mm, into it, maybe. Okay, well, <laughs> um, I wrote it three years ago, and uh, I wrote it about a guy. I was going through a breakup at the time. Uh, couldn't have been farther away from getting over him. <laughs> I was just at the beginning of that process. Um, but it was kind of my own pop anthem to kind of get through the, pro get through the pain that I was feeling. Um, and three years later, it came out today. So it's definitely been a work in progress, but I'm so happy that it's out now. And then what's next on the release front for you? Is there kind of an EP in the works, another record? Yeah, so the EP will be out June 3rd. Um, really excited about dropping that and Getting Over You is the lead single off that. So. Are you actually played an Adele tribute? We saw the Hello Vinyl upstairs. What was I that did. like? Um, it was so awesome. We got a group of powerhouse singers together from Vancouver, and we each just did a couple songs, and it was amazing because everyone was singing along, and it just... <laughs> Adele's such, an, uh, such a fantastic artist, and definitely I think everyone was like, ooh, can they, can they live up to it? Can, can they, they actually do a good cover, cover show? And it was, yeah, it was stellar. If you could have one artist put their spin or cover your music, which artist would you love to see do that? Any artist. Ed Sheeran. Really? And why, why Ed Sheeran? Uh, every time, like, I loved his No Diggity cover. Um, oh, he's done a couple more that aren't coming to mind right now. But I love how he kind of strips it down and does, like, a rhythmic acoustic, acoustic style of it. So, yeah, Ed Sheeran, I think he would be... <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> you tweeted something the other day that I absolutely loved. You were speaking my language. We were mm -hmm. talking about, does anyone just ever want to get a cup of hot cocoa, snuggle in bed, and watch some television? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely something I relate to. Mm -hmm. uh, you had mentioned Game of Thrones, but what are some other shows or movies that you love? I'm really into Empire right now. Um, I've been watching that religiously. And it's funny because usually, um, oh, I mean, the show is so embellished. Like, the music industry isn't anything like it. But at the same time, it's kind of the dream and I'm living vicariously <laughs> through these people you know they drink champagne at like 11 a.m. I'm like that sounds good <laughs> yeah well instead of enjoying your music I also have to say like I love the high waisted pants the jacket like every oh. photo I see you're wearing a really neat new outfit thank you you're welcome is fashion something else you take interest in I do actually this is uh this is a bodysuit here <laughs> It's from Kit and Ace, um, a Vancouver-based company. But I've always, I've always loved expressing myself through what I wear. But I also, I think I have a pretty conservative style. Um, even though maybe it has an edge to it, I try and be, I don't know, I try to cover up and just keep the style to itself without showing too much. So yeah, that's always kind of been how I put things together. 
Just for you, outside of the music and the performances, and I guess fashion, what do you do when you have some downtime? What else do you take interest in? Mm. I really love, um, I love doing nothing. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, I love doing yoga. That's kind of my go-to. Uh, whenever I have a free night, I'll do like a flow class or a yin class. I don't know if you're familiar with the styles. No. Flow is just kind of like pretty fast moving, lots of different poses, but yin is an hour and a half of stretches that you hold for five minutes or more. Okay. And I walk out and I call it yoga brain. Like I can't even have a conversation. <laughs> I'm just like so zened out and then I'll have like a green drink and then I'm good to go. I'm reset. <laughs> I saw you kind of started your day off to you today with one of the, your green drinks. I saw that on yeah. Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I find sometimes just being so busy, you know, I burn out. So I'm always trying to balance that out with something healthy. To refuel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's wrap things up today. Is there anything you want to say to all of your fans who are going to be viewing the interview? Um, I just want to say thank you because I'm just so excited to have this song out today and I'm so excited to have so many people listening to it and receiving it positively and I'm so grateful for you and to be doing this interview because it's just you. been, you've been so friendly and yeah, I've had a lot of fun. Me too. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy with the finds that we got. Like, it's been such a fun day. So We've been lucky, thank yeah. Thank you for your time. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you. This means so much. My pleasure. And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at amusicblogia.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite artists. We'll see you next time. Bye.